Everyone hates construction. So when we're able to get in and get out in the same day, our residents love it. The pre-chlorinated pipe bursting method used to replace water mains spans a history of almost 35 years. With hundreds of millions of feet of use, the technology comes to America's dream city, Arlington, Texas, one of the top 50 most populous cities in America. Arlington water utilities routinely averaged over 600 water main breaks per year. Stretched for resources, the city embarked on an aggressive capital improvements program with the goals of using trenchless methods to reduce community impact, replace high maintenance water mains, and utilize an in-house design by working off existing GIS maps. Arlington Water Utilities is currently on their third phase, which will bring the total footage to 60,000 feet of water main replacement by use of pre-chlorinated pipe bursting. We sit down with Jesse Allen, senior engineer, to discuss the adaptation of the trenchless program. My name is Jesse Allen. I'm senior engineer of operations for Arlington Water Utilities. We average just under 500 main breaks annually. 80% of our water main breaks are on AC pipe. Um, about 41% of our system is vessel cement pipe, and a majority of those breaks happen over a three month period. So we are looking at an aggressive program to replace those pipes to lower our operation costs. Um, so once we discovered pre chlorinated pipe bursting, we reached out to Murphy because they have a history of performance and um, successful projects. So we first did a pilot project with 11,000 linear feet. Um, it was successful. We had zero customer complaints. It was amazing. I think just viewing the project and doing a small pilot project, you will see the benefits. It, it speaks for itself. We did our research and we spent six months to a year just researching everything, looking for the best contractors because we didn't want anyone coming in to just burst pipe. And um, it paid off. And we have saved our rate payers millions of dollars by taking this approach. Most municipalities hire consultants to design the plans. And we're seeing the costs average about $15 to $20 per linear foot for small diameter. By bringing that in-house, we're able to drop that price to about $4 per linear foot. Our in-house engineering team utilizes the GIS mapping system that we have, and we look at our as builds so we basically show where we're gonna remove fire hydrants and install new valves, and we use our GIS maps for that, and then we give that to Murphy Pipelines, and they put together their bursting plan, and we can get to work. So we can design an entire neighborhood in a two week period. The length of construction is significantly reduced because the construction crews are not in front of everyone's house or businesses and because they're in and out so quickly. And by pressure testing and disinfecting and accepting the water main prior to pulling the pipe in, it dramatically reduces that two week wait period that we typically have with open cut construction. We utilize HDPE because it's a durable material and it's joint free and we're able to pull it down the road to our pits. The reduced construction time, um, one of our largest complaints is dust when it comes to construction. We hear that complaint over and over again. And um, since the excavation is so minimal with pipe bursting, we really haven't received any complaints about it. And um, that's huge because with our residential survey, the number one complaint was construction time. And so we're addressing the number one issue that our residents complain about. We have reduced social impacts. There's minimal impacts to businesses, residences, schools, and traffic flow. Um, it's a customer-focused method, so it's less inconvenience during construction time because everyone hates construction. So when we're able to get in and get out in the same day, um, can, our residents love it. So by utilizing the existing water main alignment, um, we have no conflicts with other franchise utilities. Um, it, it eliminates identifying New easements, reduces third-party relocation costs, it's reduced infrastructure, so we're not taking up more area within our right-of-way and under our streets. Um, the minimal design and no survey results in 8 to 10% cost savings versus traditional open-cut design. Um, the reduced excavation, paving, and restoration costs um, 
can add up to as much as the 85% savings. And there's a reduced staff time with engineering and inspections and field operations, as well as with management overseeing the program. And there's less risk, which results in less change orders.